Welcome back to my Buzz Cookhouse. Before we get started, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, tell your mom and then check us out. Now today we're going a little highbrow. We got some filet mignon steaks, we got some thick cut applewood bacon, and we're going to try a new technique, maybe new to you. It's been out for a few years. We're going to be cooking these uh, sous vide in a reverse here or a frying skillet. Now you say, what's sous vide? Well, that's where you take food, put it inside of a waterproof container, or plastic bag, a food saver type bag. And it circulates the water inside of a vessel, keeps it perfectly at the temperature you want that food cooked to. It won't overheat because the temperature doesn't go above what you want. Nothing can get hotter than what the heat source is. So let's get to it. All right, so we're going to start with a little kosher salt here. We'll literally hit both sides of these steaks. Now these came off of a whole tenderloin I picked up at the store on sale. You ever say, well, I can't afford buying the, you know, them flaming on steaks they sell in the butcher case. Don't buy them in the butcher case unless you only want a couple steaks. But if you trust your knife skills enough, buy the whole. It's cheaper per pound. You'll learn some good skills. And you'll have a supply of beef in your fridge that's tender and delicious. Put right. a little fresh cracked white pepper on here. And I'm seasoning these before I wrap these in bacon. So I want that seasoning, the pepper and the salt and garlic powder now to get in to the size where that bacon's going to be. Beat it back over. More garlic. This with that black powder again. All right, so we got our steak seasoned up. Now we got some of this bacon here. I'm gonna wrap it around like so. Nice and pretty. The same on this one. Make sure you get a good quality bacon when you're doing this. Nice and thick. Have good smoke to it. Now we're going to let these rest for a few minutes. Let that salt dissolve down inside. Let that garlic work in a little bit. And that pepper. That's going to help everything taste just a little more steakhouse-like. All right, guys. So I got a couple of food sealer bags here I've made up. So we'll do is take our fillet. Stick one in each. Take a tab of butter in there. The same with this one. Put it right on top. Now, get this little cut board out of the way. Now, we'll put our Vacuum sealer here. It's gonna get a little noisy, so cover your ears if you got this loud. Now we didn't want that to go to a full tight seal where it crush everything. We just want most of the air sucked out as you can see here. It's still tight, it holds the bacon on, you don't have to use toothpicks or anything. But we retain our shape. Let's do it one more time with the other one. Once again, if you get your buds in, turn it down. You're getting loud. And it's sealed. Doop 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 doop. And it's done. And I thought it was done. Now it's done. There we go. Now we're going to get our sous vide bath. We're going to set it at 140 for about 45 minutes. And that's going to cook it all the way through. It's going to be red edge to edge. It won't look like it's done, but trust me, it's done. So get them in the hot tub. All right. So I got here what I call my hillbilly hot tub. It's a, I think it's about 20 quart igloo cooler. Don't have a big loo, just what this one happens to be. Um, I like using the cooler for my sous vide because it Holds the heat a little bit better. 
Um, you can lay a straight towel across the top if you want. If you can go dramatic enough, you can cut a hole in your lid that'll fit around your sous vide machine, wherever you wish. I still use this for other purposes, so I haven't cut a hole in it yet. But as you can see, we're at 140.1 degrees. It'll fluctuate within a point of a degree or two. So we got our steak wrapped in bacon with butter. And we'll let it take a bath for about 45 minutes. There's the other one. Doesn't matter which way it goes in, because in the water, every which way is up. See you in about 45. All right, guys. I just pulled our steaks out of the sous vide. They are at 140 degrees. Now we got a skillet here. It's turned up high. We're going to reverse sear. So when we do reverse sear, we cook in another method, either dry method or hot method or wet method of cooking. Then we sear just to finish. It does not take as long to finish this way, but the initial cooking is longer, but you end up with a fantastic steak. So, here's one. Only about a minute aside, just that. We'll get our second steak out here. Check our first steak. We'll be good on that side. A longer. Excuse me, I turn the fan on. Might get a little noisy, but we are searing. Set that side. See how pretty that looks. Worry about the smoke, it's where you have the fan. Set it on its edge, Christmas bacon up. We'll see you back over at the cutting board. All right, we're back at the cutting board. Now let's uh, take a slice and see what we got inside. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. That's a nice medium well. Medium, medium well if that's what you like. You see on that piece there. Nobody complained about that. Now, I'm going to take a bite. All right, let's try this out. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Tender, flavorful. You say, you chewed a little bit long. That's because I'm enjoying the flavor of the meat. If it was a good meat, it's tender, you would chew a little bit longer. That is delicious. Get a little bit of smoky, some applewood bacon. That butter comes through. It has a richness. You get that salt, that garlic on there. Mm. That has a fine steak. That's hillbilly fancy. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us now for Buzz Cookhouse. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down the corner and tell you mom and them. We'll see you next week.